Hi guys, I bought a new pair of Skechers shoes. Anyway, this is my review of the Pebble Time, the first, the I think the second generation, the one with color, and also the new P2, Pebble 2 on my right. Looks like the alarm is ringing and uh, it's vibrating in a pulsating I can choose to snooze or I can choose to disable it. Uh, disable for 10 minutes. The good thing about the new uh, Pebble 2 is that it has a heart rate monitor. So the heart rate monitor uh, allows it to uh, detect how fast your heart is beating. So right now it's about 76 BPM, still alive, jump to 90. Would I say it is accurate? Well, um, some say that it's a toy. There's no such thing as a optical heart rate sensor that sends your hand. And uh, it doesn't really um, capture the correct, um, correct beat. La. Well, it's, it's a fun tool to have and uh, the accompanying app is pretty good. Um, this is the time too. It has a color screen. So I put a classic uh, mm, wallpaper. Functions are the same. Settings, music. You can control your music from your watch. Uh, notifications. So I managed to sell uh, the old one. So I'm giving it away. Uh, it served me well. So this is the same message displayed on two devices. As you can see, it is the same uh, DPI. Thanks, bro. And uh, the new Pebble Time 2 will have a slightly... Oh, that's my alarm. It looks like the vibration on this time, uh, Pebble Time is stronger. Maybe this one is because the Moto is smaller. But it is enough to wake you up. Lah. Uh, so the resolution is pretty much the same, I believe. I'm not sure about the technical details. Uh, this is definitely for girls. Um, I mean, the size of it, it's uh, slightly smaller. It's 20. I'm not sure the specifications, but looks like the width is on the red one is slightly bigger. Here's the back. Here's the heart sensor. Let's try to activate it. There you go. Laser! And this is the back of the old one. It says Pebble Kickstarter. And then this one says PKS3 Pebble. Uh, strap length is the same. Whoa, oh! The uh, old Pebble time is longer, it seems. So. Uh, yeah, the watch face is definitely smaller because it's based on the first generation squarish, rectangularish. Uh, you know, but black and white is not too bad. You know, black and white is uh, black and white is uh, readable in the sunlight, especially in the sunlight. These watches perform great under sunlight. If you were to buy a Samsung or Apple Watch, then you might have a different experience. So I can see my schedule. It's synchronized to my work calendar as well. Uh, there, my work um, notifications. That's kind of a nice thing to have. And uh, the calendar is pretty cool. Uh, note to self. Let's try note to self because it is a pretty um, cool application that converts your voice to speech. Note to self converts voice to speech. That converts your voice notes to speech to self convert text to speech. Not that good. <laughs> Alright, let's try it one more time. Note to self converts text to speech. Today is a beautiful day. Converts text to speech. Today, a beautiful day. Well, they got the gist of it. But uh, this technology was initially used to answer phone calls. You could leave a short rest. Oh, there's a banner here. That, you know, banners are pretty cool. It's a summary of what's coming up next. It's like notifications on iOS. Uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.